G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. This video is about storing my gear and I think this is going to be part one because I'm in the process of building shelves. Now in the past I've been asked how do I store my gear, what's my setup with storing my gear, how do I organize my gear. So in previous videos you've probably seen behind me black shelves uh, or metal frame shelves with uh, the MDF shelving units with everything piled on there. Now I'm in the process of building some shelving or let's say some storage, it's more than shelving, into the main room which I use which over here I've got my uh, my computer where I do my editing, I do my, my work and everything. Over here I've got my office shelving which has got a load of my camping gear and hiking gear and on it and behind me which you'll see shortly when I pan out I've got shelving in progress or storage in progress being built now let me step away so you can see so that's in progress I've got the main frame up now most of this is recycled um, and the stuff I've had to buy, I've gone for the the cheaper version of it. It's, if I was, to, for for example, on the uh, the main benches here, the main wood on that is 19 millimeter pine, but it's untreated pine. It's what usually is usually used on fencing here. And uh, if I get the pine that's been treated, planed and all square and nice, it's more than double the cost. But at the same time, because this has got a, a bit of a rough look to it, I've given it a bit of a sand and it actually looks perfect for this sort of thing. It, it's not a flash office or anything. It, it's like a real uh, storage. It feels like it's real. It just looks much better. I'll be giving you close-ups of it all. Uh, but the wall that side backs onto the lounge, which is where the television is. So at the same time as doing this, I'm soundproofing that main area across here. But the main frames to the shelving came from an old um, hardware store warehouse. The the original owners of the or the original uh, tenants of the hard uh, the unit where the hard store uh, was moved out quite a while ago and it's been taken over by a, a charity called Sam Spares where they take in all the old e-waste or your computers and monitors and laptops they fix them up and where the ones that can't be fixed they take the parts out that are still useful and they rebuild computers and laptops and what they do with it after that point is they give it out to like to young children that's for, who need it for the homework uh, for startups where people don't have the money to buy a computer but they want to start a small business up uh, they give it to other charities companies that uh, they need it for keeping records on where they're actually gifting people food boxes they they give it out to all that uh, type of people uh, i'll put a link down below to their i think they've got a facebook page so if you're here in australia in western australia and you've got anything like that e-waste give them a shout and see if they can use it now getting back to this the actual shelving units well, when they were clearing out the warehouse or the workshop area they divided everything up for recycle or uh, to go to the waste disposal so they gave, gave me a course said we've got some wood here do you need any of it anybody can help themselves so i went over and i picked up seven already uh, constructed frames for shelving which were actually installed on the walls back in the warehouse and I've done the same here at 2.4 meters by 30 centimeters by 65 and that is this one two three 
yep, in four sections. So I've modernized it a little bit here when I've put it together. I've cut a, a front panel off where I've thrown in the sewing machine there for when I'm making my uh, hammock straps and gear and all the little shelves there to store things onto. The bigger section at the back is <coughs> three meters in uh, length joining up to the small, the 2.4 meter one, but 60 centimeters deep, which is perfect size for keeping the uh, my tents on. But this is all going to be organized when it's finished. So this is just part one showing you where I am at the moment and basically the, the start of it. In the corner there, which is basically a dead corner, <coughs> it works out just right. As long as my packs are empty and they're flat, my main packs and then my day packs all fit in an area there of about 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. <coughs> Excuse me. Little little bit of a squeeze, but it, it works but it's not too tight where I can still move stuff and get to it and below that I've got my hammock gear uh, top quilt and bottom quilt for the hammocks which will be going there and you can probably see at the moment there's a couple of packs which are full which I need to empty and then put up at the top but I've also got to buy some more hooks some uh, shorter ones because some of them will just be like four or five inches hanging down and I only need them a couple of well the smallest one there yeah, it's probably about two and a half, three inches, that's all. And that's all I need to hold them. And that'll give me some space underneath if I have to, just to lay another pack in there. At the top, at the moment, I've just thrown my infl uh, self-inflating sleep mats up there. And they fit up there really, really nice. But like I said, this is all going to be organised. I've got plans to what's going on the top of this one and that's going to be one of my main tents which i throw on top of the 4b uh, it's one of the 30 second tents so it's fairly it's about two meters in length when it's packed away by about this big by about that wide but it is something for a base camp it's not for hiking uh, the sponge or foam uh, sound dampeners up there they don't stop the sound they're just to reduce the echo in this room for when I'm doing some editing or I've got the microphone down there from making audio tapes and stuff <coughs> excuse me and they'll be going some of them will be going underneath maybe around the top of it's got to see because my plans are to put back panels on there with soundproofing behind like I said with the TV on that side on that wall it just blares and you can hear it in here uh, I've installed in some lighting which originally for the uh, we're going to go on the awnings on the uh, it's on the 4B out there the, the car <coughs> but I decided to put them in here that's what these wires are that are hanging at the moment they're all going to get pinned up uh, I don't think you can see it on the camera here at the moment let's try and turn around a little bit more that's it over the back here you'll see this here there's a gap Uh, I've got a power pack for the lighting because these are the 12 volt ones so it's just going to be a little uh, inverter which brings it down from the 210 to the 12 volt and that'll be running down the back here and it'll be plugged in at the back and the wires will just be drilled through the top and plugged in out of sight. I have done over there if you could probably just see there I've installed a double power supply <coughs> not going to be running much off it I put a double uh, power point at the bottom here on the wall it was a single but I put a new one in a double one wired that in and I'll be doing the same over here let's get it right there's going to be another double power point there so I can have my two way radios uh, pocket, uh, yeah, mobile ones over there charging if need be get my finger in the right direction over here once all this is cleared off <coughs> I can have other stuff plugged in over there, charging up like power banks for the, the videos. The whole idea is I want these works surfaces kept as clear as possible. 
but with the sound panels on the back uh, I'm going to be uh, uh, putting attachments there so I can hang my axes up on there put some knives up on there so I don't have to use all the storage space and I can use that for other things what else is there for now that, that, that's it for now for part one as I go along I'll show you it I'll show you a little bit probably how I'm doing it it's it's nothing fancy I'm not a carpenter pretty good with the hands but yeah I, I like the the rustic look of this how it's coming on so far there is going to be uh, doors across the top closing it all off the same on this side we're going to have doors at the top or the bottom I'm going to make doors for these so it's all closed off uh, yeah that's going to be doors there so it's all going to be closed off so it's just going to be it'll have an, a clean finish I hope I'm just trying to figure out where, what to use for making the doors I've got a couple of ideas in my head it, 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 I'm happy with it because I think each day as I organize it and put a little bit oh, okay that can go there that can go there it's making space off the floor because with the original shelving I had so much on there like I said I've got on my actual office shelving I've got a lot of my camping gear uh, my water a couple of water bottles up there uh, well I've got the cleaning for my kayak gas canister up there waterproofing for my boots over there another gas canister over there pack liner over there a, an inflator for my pack one of my cook uh, pots and one of my pouches another pouch another pouch and then like I said my radios are over here at the moment <coughs> so yeah they're, they're pretty good I'll, I'll do a review about them one day there yeah I like them I've had them for years I have and you, the company Uniden still makes similar I don't know if they make this model anymore but if you could pick a set of these up a lot of people sell them second hand they've had them never used them and they said they don't work it's simple because they've got rechargeable batteries in they're not cheap but they're worth it i've replaced these and i think for the two sets cost me about 80 dollars uh, no 86 dollars for two sets of batteries because i've got two of these i've got the pair but look it's fantastic you've got 40 channels on this one and then you've got uh you can divide them channels into personalized and oh, oh it's just pretty great you can put the headset wired in so you keep on your pack and do the old security guard rubbish but yeah they're, they're nice not too heavy either but like i said i'll do a review on them later on down the line <clears throat> well that's it for now so i hope you've enjoyed this video so far and i hope you come along and follow me on the rest of building this <coughs> and if you've got any comments please leave them down below and let me know what you think let, give me some ideas so I've got a general idea but it's always good to get more ideas uh, I might not use them ideas but them ideas that you get you share with me might make me realize ah if I do that with that it'll work better and I thank anybody who leaves me a comment subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up all that stuff yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this I'm getting to the stage now where I haven't got much of the uh, reclaimed wood oh pardon me so it's going to be a bit of money having to be spent to finish it so if you want to help out buy me a coffee that's down there in the description okay that's it for now so I hope you all have a great day and for all my subscribers here already I thank you very much and any new subscribers from this video, I thank you very much too. To see you soon.